Uh, good morning, YouTube. Uh, welcome to another installment in the Black & Decker battery project. One of the uh, things I was uh, wondering about as I was looking into some battery management systems is how much current does a tool like this pull out of a battery like this? And, you know, when the power comes out of these two pins, and when you plug it inside, there's no way to measure uh, the current. And I haven't been able to find anything, uh, you know, specific online. And it would be really nice to be able to measure that current. So, I took my old battery here, took the top off, took the connector part off, shoved it in here, connected a few wires, and hooked that up to a working battery. And now I can shove that inside here. It's a little tricky to get in there, so you got to do it. There's no spring load on that uh, clip anymore. And then I can use one of these clamp on ammeter and we'll zero it out and let's see if I can get this situated here I need to clamp on to one of those and hopefully we can read the I need to uh, actually record this and see what kind of current there we got it zeroed out so now I'm going to turn on my leaf blower. So that's one of my devices. Uh, let me reconfigure here and I'll ch hook up uh, one of my other power tools. So these are my other two uh, Black & Decker cordless tools. This one here is a uh, uh, little chainsaw on the end of a pole you can actually uh, add in uh, oh, we got a squirrel checking us out here but, uh, you can add uh, extension poles in into the middle here and uh, extend it up I, I think I have one extension pole so you can go up about 10 10 or 12 feet and so that's got a little uh, 18 volt chainsaw and then this one is uh, kind of a hedge trimmer so I'll, I'll get back to you and I'll hook up the power to the chainsaw first. Okay I've got the uh, chainsaw hooked up now with the clamp meter reading zero currents and I'll fire it up and see what it reads. Okay, that's the chainsaw, then I'll reconfigure and try the leaf trimmer, I think. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back again. I have the uh, hedge trimmer hooked up, and let's see what kind of current it takes. Pulling the trigger. Okay. So that one is actually lower than I thought. I'll try that again. So, those are the three tools I have. It looks like actually the leaf blower is highest. What I might try is see if I can get the chainsaw hooked up and I'll try cutting a piece of wood and see what that looks like. Okay, I think I can give this a try here, YouTube. I've got the uh, chainsaw plugged back in, the clamp meter's on, and I've got the chainsaw blade on a piece of wood up here. Let's see what kind of load we get. Yeah, I think that battery is, like I say, these NICADs just don't seem to pull a heavy load for very long. That's one of the reasons I'm looking at going to a lithium. So I'll... Uh, have to take a look at that uh, those current readings so that was the chainsaw cutting some wood and uh, I couldn't see the meter while I was running it so I'll take a look at the uh, video along with so, you. So 
that uh, kind of concludes this testing phase. I got some readings from the meter. Uh, but we'll see. I'll uh, keep you updated. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel to get notified when I uh, make some progress on this. I'll try to decide what components I want to use and I'll probably have to get those ordered and it'll probably take a few weeks for everything to show up so I will get back to you when I have some progress to report. Be sure to rate and comment on this video and uh, thanks for watching. See you later.